Hi, and uh, welcome to this video. Before I getting into the video, I'm so sorry about the lighting. You have a very, very strong sun today, or what you name it. So the sun is actually coming through my curtains, so you can see some lighting dots right here. But yeah, otherwise, it's okay. <laughs> I think so. I'm not getting blind or anything. I have my curtain down, so I can see something. But today's video is going to be my elf box. And I did actually purchase this box about three months ago, I think. <laughs> but uh, I didn't have the time before now to, uh, to make a video. So yeah, that is what we are doing right now. And let's just jump right into it and see what I got. And the first thing I got here is my uh, beauty book, Bronze Look. And it's a product, yeah, but it has several products in it. And it's looking like this. And in here you got this plastic flap thing. Better remove it because I don't like it. So you can see here is all the day. Eyeshadow and here is the night, and here has actually been a eyelid primer, but I, whoops, hmm. I took it out, and here I got <laughs> the little pencil we got in this too. I have so many black eyeliner pencil, and I really don't like this. It's a little bit too hard to work with, so I don't think I'm gonna use that. But these shades are gorgeous. As I said, it's the, the day shadows and then the night shadows. So yeah, I'm looking very forward to try this out. And the next thing is actually something I use on my face today. So I have looked in the box. And this the, the highlighting I'm wearing today. It's a very natural highlight and I'm actually very glad I bought it. It's this shimmer. Elf Gold, yeah, it's a say Elf Gold or Shimmer powder sort of thing. And let's take it out if I can get it out like that. And it's come with a little brush, but I don't typically use these brushes, I like to use my own. But this is the color. It's so pretty and so settled and so natural. It doesn't chunk at all or looking chunky or anything. It's just pretty. And I'm wearing on my nose, you can see. So it's a very, very good color. I like it a lot. And the next thing is I'm actually very excited about this one. This a uh, smudge part in the color wine, wine nut. I actually think I have opened this before and I was a little bit disappointed about the pigmentation in it but we will take a look together oh it's definitely more creamy now than it was then and this is the color it's a little bit watery it feels like Vaseline or something I don't remember the word in English but yeah it's actually a very pretty color, but it's not like a wine color, you know, some like a red wine color, dark wine color. It's more uh, more brown with a little bit undertone of purple, I would say. But it's actually very pretty, so I think I'm going to play with it a little bit more and see if I'm going to use it or just give it away to someone. And the next thing is... This moisturizing lipstick in wine tour. So as you can see, uh, I'm loving wine right now, or something. And if I can get this out, some of my issues with this packaging is <laughs> so hard to get up and out. All the products is stuck in here, and when I get out, I'm always drop it on the floor. And it's looking like this. The packaging. And the color is like this. I'm 
I'm not sure if the pigmentation, I've heard some of the lipstick are very good in pigmentation and some of them are not. As you can see, it's not quite the same, same color. Dang. Oh, what was that? I think it was Danish, <laughs> I believe. It's not the same color you see in the packaging that you see on the swatch, but it's actually very pretty. And as a bonus, I saw it somewhere, you can get the bottom off. If I can get it off, why can I get it off? If I'm looking very mad, it's not because I'm mad, it's just... Really, ah! Yeah. And then you have this little tiny products amount in the bottom. Let's see. Yeah. So you can actually use this, and this is more matte. It's the same color, but it's a little bit more matte. Oh, hold on, all over the place. Great. It's actually very, very good. If you don't know that, you can do that with all your elf. Some of the drugstore cosmetic, not them all, but this one you can. And the next stuff I got is this lip primer and plumber from elf. <sighs> I have to say, I'm a little bit skeptical about this because you're all seeing these products. Oh, it's a uh, plumbing, and yeah, some of them does. I have tried one from Dior, I think. It actually did work, but I don't know about this one. But I like this having this yellowly like camel color in the prime end and this plumber and is just a clear one i have a lipstick on today so i can try it on right now but please let me know if you want to see a video where i'm only using these products so you can see it in action and then i got this uh, moisturizing foundation stick and i always want to try a foundation stick but i I don't want to spend too much money on them, so I will try this first and see can I handle it or it's just too, you know, compact for me or it's actually working. And this is the color and I'm a little bit skeptical for I don't think this is the right color for me because yeah, it's too dark as you can see. But I have a yellow undertone in my skin so maybe when I get a tan to in summer. Maybe I can use that if you tap on. No, it will pop off. But yeah, this is in the color nude. So yeah, it's actually very dark. But I will try it and see if I can make it work. And the next thing I got here is this mineral eyeliner in the color. Where are you? Ash. And I know there was one eyeliner in <laughs> my box, but I really, really want to try another eyeliner than black. We always had a black eyeliner or had tended to buy a black eyeliner, so I want to try another color. And I know it's in the, in the dark side of an, an eyeliner should be, but it's right there. I think this might work because it's not too hard to look at as a black eyeliner. But yeah, did I really make any sense right now? I don't feel like I'm making any sense sometimes. But I'll try to make that even better so you can understand what I'm trying to tell you. And the next thing I got here is this blush in Peachy Kin from Elf. I love blushes in peachy undertone. I think they're so beautiful. And as you can see, I'm very light and or fair of what you call it. So it's definitely a color that suits me better than a very pink, very neon pink or very red blush. And if I can get this. Oh. Just a moment. Oh, great. When I tried to get this plastic thing out, I just got my nail in the product. So yeah, I just broke it a little bit. It's okay. But uh, this is the color. And 
<laughs> I don't know if I could call this a peachy pink. Maybe a little bit is looking very brown in the packaging, but it's actually very pretty. So I think I may use this one a lot. I will see. And as a bonus, this has a cute little mirror in it, so that is a very really good thing. And the next I got here is a baked eyeshadow in the color toasted. And I don't think I ever tried a baked. <laughs> Why is it so hard for me to get stuff out of the packaging? Yes, that is unbelievable. Maybe just send me the packaging out, open or something. Woo! Without breaking anything. <laughs> and this is the color. I had never tried a, a baked eyeshadow before, but I've heard so many good things about it. And this is the color. It's very, very pretty. I can maybe find five or six color in the shade, but I, I really enjoy using this toasted golden brownish color. I really love it because I have. As you can see, blue eyes, so that is a very, very good thing. And the last thing I think, yeah, that was the last, is this brush from e.l.f. And I have heard many good things about these brushes, so I thought, yeah, why not? I can always give it away to someone if it doesn't work for me at all. And this looks like this, it's a little crease brush. And it's a, it's a smaller version of a crease brush, but I like it because it's getting very precise. And let's see how it feels. It doesn't stab you or feeling hard or anything, so I'm, I'm very glad about this one. I really hope I can use it and it going down to my other brushes right away. So yeah, that was this messy kind of video so please let me know if you want to see these products in action and then I'll of course make a video where I'm only using these products even though they maybe are a little bit too dark or anything I will try to make it work so yeah thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel if you want that too and then I will see you in my next video. Bye!